Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's pick a car reading, we are going to see if they like you. Do they like you? Um, what are their feelings for you? Um, maybe you have a person on your mind and you're just wondering if they like you back. Then I hope this is the video for you. This is a reading where you can um, hopefully find messages and value and an answer for your question okay so we have here three piles that you can choose from this is pile number one with the green fluoride crystal this is pile number two with the amethyst crystal and pile number three with the rose quartz crystal so choose based on it to your intuition the card or the crystal that you feel the most drawn to and after you're done choosing you can skip ahead using the timestamps down below but before we get into the reading, please take a moment to give a like to this video and also subscribe to my channel for more readings. It would really mean the world to me and it's going to help support my channel. Thank you so much for that and yeah, let's get into the reading. Hello my dear Padwan, so if you pick the green fluoride crystal or if you picked the card The Fool, then this is your reading, okay? So my dear Padwan, you picked The Fool, alright? So this card is basically telling me that the person on your mind is willing to um, step up into a new chapter something that they don't know anything about something very new fresh and unknown they are ready to jump off that cliff without knowing anything about the next step um, or the next chapter that they're getting into okay so the person on your mind is in that energy of courage, um, being even carefree, yeah, not really thinking about the consequences or what's coming next. They are just ready to embrace change and a new, fresh chapter into their life, basically. So, yeah, this is what the first card, The Fool, is about. Now, let's take a look at your tarot cards and see more information. So, first we have Seven of Swords. We have Two of Cups. We have Judgment. And we also have Six of Cups. Alright. So, right off the bat, I'm seeing that your person felt betrayed or um, lied to or just they don't really know if they can trust you so it doesn't necessarily mean that something happened and it really broke their trust maybe it's just that they don't know you enough um, in order to trust you it might be that their personality is someone that's a little bit more closed off yeah someone that doesn't really trust people easily maybe due to uh, past experiences maybe it's just their personality but either way, I can see that they are not fully trusting you or they just don't know you that well. So they don't know if um, being with you will be um, the best thing. Yeah, they don't know if you, they should trust you. Um, but as I was saying earlier with a fool, it makes sense Yeah, that they're jumping off that cliff. It takes a lot of courage from them, from their part to just embrace this connection with you so i'm also seeing with the two of cups that they like you but they not only like you but i kind of see love <laughs> two of cups is the card of um love yeah it's similar to the lovers in the tarot so this person is really really into you pile one but it's just that they are someone that trusts very hard yeah someone that gives away their trust um not easily so because they just like you so much because they see a lot of love with the two of cups there this is about um profound feelings like deep feelings that you have for someone okay so they feel like this connection is very special and it's very meaningful to them this is what two of cups uh indicates that it's very meaningful to them they feel like they never had something like that before with anyone else so this is exactly what's pushing them out of, uh, outside of their comfort zone because the fool this is what is about getting out of your comfort zone just embracing new 
uh, embracing the new, embracing change, embracing um, a new chapter that you don't really know what you're stepping into. So they don't know you very well. Um, hence, they don't know if this is a good idea or if they, you know, if they fully trust you. But this is not going to stop them from getting into this connection. The fool is um, indicating me that this person is really, really considering getting into a connection with you. Um, okay, and I see that they are ready to just um, have a different, like a whole different experience uh, that they've had before. Um, they really feel like this is really important for them. So I am ready to embrace no matter what's coming, um, even though it's so much different than what I've had before or what I've known before. Because the judgment card is all about a new world. Yeah, a new world with new rules, um, something completely different and it's like stepping up in a new um, chapter, a renewal. So this is all about um, them jumping off that edge and I don't know, I'm getting this image of just flying, like, yeah, like flying into the unknown, um, but still like wanting to have that experience like they are a bit scared or not trustful but they still want to like go for it right so this person <laughs> pile one that you have in mind they really want to go forward with their feelings with the six of cups this is showing uh someone that's expressing their feelings someone that's confessing yeah, we see this person um, bringing a, a cup full of flowers to the other person. So this is indicating that they want to express how they feel for you. They want to tell you that they really love you and they, they want to be with you. Okay, so they're not going to let their trust issues or even the fact that they don't know you very well um, stay in the way of being with you they are very uh romantically interested into you this is what i'm seeing um and you know this is a general reading so maybe if it's some uh, about someone that's uh, not a romantic interest um and it's just a friend but that means it's just like a special bond that you two have and they really want to like be your friend so um keep in mind that this is a general reading so take this however resonates but from a love's perspective, um, this person really wants to confess to you. They want to be open and just come, um, not necess necessarily come clean, but like just reveal their feelings to you. Okay. Now let's just uh, clarify this reading a bit more with your oracle decks, uh, oracle cards, sorry. So um, by the way, if you're interested in any of the decks I'm using, I'm going to link all of them down below. So yeah. Uh, we have trust. Ooh, we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Wow, pile one. This is a very strong message here. So, this is about a trust issue. Your person has trust issues. Yeah, but they realize that they need to have trust in the process. Or just like, not let that trust issue hold them back. They realize that this situation is calling for them to have faith. So they are going to hang on that faith and they are going to jump off that cliff. No matter what. And next we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So this person believes that if they love you, uh, if they love themselves, if they, if they like really respect themselves, you know, they have clear boundaries and they realize that it's it's better to be honest about your feelings and about your boundaries and about how you want to be treated. And by loving yourself and getting to know yourself, you even know better what type of partner you want for yourself and it fits better for you, right? So this person is really in a process of um, self-love and... They, they just want to embrace this new chapter of just being more trustful, being more uh, loving towards self and towards you. Like they want to uh, have trust in, the, uh, in you and like see what it takes them, right? So you, we don't know 
whether we can trust someone or not 100% from the f uh, beginning. It's all about just like giving that trust and seeing what is going to happen. Obviously, the trust is earned over time. So this is what they have in mind and they're just going to go for it, right? They're going to express how they feel for you and be in a connection with you. Because this is what I want. Uh, this is what they want, okay? And next we have the sword and rose. Clarity, truth, um, revelation, revelation, sorry, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. So, clarity, yeah, this is about mind, yeah, M clarity of mind. They, they've come to a, a realization, a revelation that they really love you. This is very meaningful to them, yeah. This is a truth, basically. And they just made like um their mind more clear to themselves by going to, through this process of loving themselves and like getting to know themselves better and this is just created that clarity in their head and yeah this is just the driving force yeah love love for themselves and love for you is a driving force so they are just coming to clarity and they want to clarify um, their feelings to you as well. Yeah, so um, I'm seeing this image of like clouds just clearing. Yeah, the sky is clearing and you both will know where you to stand as in feelings. Yeah, and last but not least, we have cassette. So outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So. With this card, um, I'm seeing that your person realized that some of the thoughts that they might have regarding relationships or friendships or whatever this is about, yeah, they're a bit outdated, yeah. So they're just replaying events from the past over and over in their head. It's just creating these trust issues and it's not serving them, okay? It's good to be cautious, but once it starts um, affecting your life, your present life, and it's just interfering with your decision making and like you choosing happiness, basically, it's not a good thing. So they kind of had this revelation, yeah, and they just want to uh, clarify all the situation. They just want to con get contact with you and just express how they feel, basically. And just embrace this new chapter. This is what, uh, all uh, that is about in this reading. This is the message I'm getting about your person, pile one. Okay, so to answer your question, yes, they like you. They really, really like you. I would go even say that they love you, okay? Because we have here the two of cups. So yeah, this is all I have for you, pal one. I really hope you enjoyed your reading and found some value in it. If you did, hit like and subscribe. And also please leave a comment down below if this reading resonated. That would mean the world to me and it's going to support my channel. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hi, my dear pal two. So if you pick the Amethyst Crystal or if you pick the Nine of Swords cards, yeah, then this is your reading, okay? So by picking this card, um, I'm just hearing that your person, uh, your person's energy right now is a lot of overthinking. They are just in a lot of stress. I, I see anxiety. See how this person is just like having nine swords basically in their head, into their brain. So this is, this means a lot of thoughts, a lot of, um, anxiety a lot of stress sleepless nights and it, it might it might also mean that your person is just like trying to figure something out a solution they cannot find basically their brain is just tired they are exhausted it's just worn out from too much thinking i wonder why okay so let's see what's going on actually with your person so Let's see your tarot cards. We have um, four of swords. Okay. We have the empress. Wow, we have nine of swords again. Ooh, this message is really, really strong, pile two. 
Okay, and then we also have Ace of Cups. Wow, so yeah, we have twice a Nine of Swords, which is really, really indicating that your person is dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, you know, yada yada, what I said before. So, um, this person really wants to have a time of um, rest. They want to take a step back from everything and just have a moment for themselves. But as in, do they like you? Well, yeah, we have the Ace of Cups, which is a 100% message that they have feelings for you. Ace of Cups, yeah, Cups are all about feelings and emotions. And Ace of Cups means that a person is giving their heart to you. It's just like um, putting their heart, their feelings on a hand. And it's just like offering to you. So... I see a lot of feelings. You see, this cup is overflowing with water. Water is just like those feelings. This is what it symbolizes. So your person is really, really into you, pile two. But for some reason, they they choose to stay um, in a shade. They choose to stay behind. And they're not coming forward with their feelings. They're not even maybe letting their feelings show to you. This is why maybe you're even wondering if they like you back or if they like you because this person is not showing their feelings to you. They have them in their heart and they might be thinking about expressing their feelings and confessing because this is about confessing. But I see also with the Nine of Swords that they decide to step uh, back. They decide to just have a break. So Nine of uh, Swords... Uh, sorry, Four of Swords is that card of a very um, stagnant energy, something that's just not moving. Yeah, no action is being taken. This is just someone that's um, processing their feelings and emotions. They're going through uh, introspection, yeah, through a process of introspection. So they're trying to understand themselves or something. They're trying to figure out something. Uh, remember how I was saying that they are trying to figure out something, an answer about a situation, you know, something that's really taking up all the space into their head and it's weighing them down a lot. And the Empress, though, is a very positive card on the other hand. So... I'm getting this feeling that your person feels very good in your company. They find you very uh, nurturing. Your energy is very nurturing and healing for them. The Empress energy is all about love, abundance, prosperity, generosity, caring, that feminine, pure feminine energy. Okay, so this is how they feel when in your company this is how they feel about you this is why like they have such strong feelings for you because they find you like such a healing um presence into their life but they are still like having something holding them back and they need to figure something out and maybe they realize it's not fair to start something without um Finger, figure out themselves first is what I'm trying to say okay but now let's see your oracle cards uh, by the way if you're interested in any of the decks I'm using I'm gonna uh, leave a links to all of them down below okay so we have released your ex the time has come to clear your energy so yeah this card is definitely clarifying this reading even more so um, this person might be dealing with an ex, yeah, an old energy that they are trying to remove from their life. So maybe it was something that was very meaningful to them, yeah, and it led to them feeling very, very hurt. Or they might have a lot of wounds from this past connection. And they realize it's time to clear their energies. They are taking that step back. They are doing the healing, the introspection. Yeah, they're processing their feelings and emotions. So I think that it's very healthy 
what they are doing. So the person on your mind pal two is taking a healthy approach to the situation where they first try to heal before getting into a new connection. Even though they developed feelings for you, even though they find you so, so um, just amazing to be around with, but they do realize that they need to settle <laughs> whatever is just going on into their head right now. They need to heal. They need to um, just process what it has to be processed and leave old energies behind so it won't affect them later, okay? We also have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, <laughs> sorry, upbringing and spiritual path. So your person um, might be a very religious um uh, or a spiritual inclined person. I'm saying person too many times. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, so they might be a lot into religion or spirituality. Um, so by removing these old energies and just clearing the space for new, uh, new better energies that are just going to serve them, yeah? Um, it's also like part of their spiritual journey. They are just becoming a better person they're embracing these new fresh energies that are coming to them they're embracing the healing and this whole process of regeneration basically is just also helping them on their spiritual path yeah they're growing as a person and they're just becoming closer to their inner self okay and Let's see your other um, oracle cards. And we have coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So they really feel uplifted by you, pal too. They feel like being with you feels like savoring the moment. They want to savor every moment that they get to spend with you. And as I said, they really love being around you. They they love meeting you. They love having conversations with you. Um, you bring a lot of positivity and joy and abundance into their life. But we also have friendships. So um, this could represent the fact that you two get along really well as friends as well. So it's not only feelings, but it's also like friendship, a solid friendship between you guys. Um, or it could also represent um, that... For the moment, they prefer to keep it at a friendship status. Um, they're not ready to uh, make a full step into a relationship because they still need to heal. And we also have healthy choices. Ooh, I love this. So making healthy choices in life and in, uh, in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Wow, your person pal too is making healthier choices for them, both in life and love. They're just healing themselves. They are growing on their spiritual journey and they choose self-love. They choose self, uh, self-care. They want to be happier and they know you are the person that's going to make them happier, but also they want to find happiness inside of them first. Okay, they are making a very healthy choice. And remember how I was saying that they are making a healthy move by deciding to heal first. So it's all about healthy choices for now for them. Okay. Wow, I love this reading. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed it too and found some value in it. Please hit like and subscribe if you did. And please leave me a comment down below if this reading resonated. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hi, my dear pal three. So if you pick the Rose Quartz Crystal or if you pick the Four of Cups card, then this is your reading, okay? So by choosing this card, I'm seeing that your person is, you know, normally Four of Cups is representing someone that's just not seeing the opportunity, someone that's avoiding or even not even just seeing the opportunity itself. And they're just concerned or focused on something different so i'm seeing this person like being really focused on watering this plant like minding their own business going on with their life yeah 
but I'm also seeing this eye peeking through. So your person is just focusing on themselves. This is the energy that they are into right now. They're focusing on themselves, but they still peek through. Yeah, they're taking a look at what you're doing. They are very curious about like from time to time to just check check on you. Yeah, check what you're up to. So they might be spying on you on social media. They might be just, um, you know, asking mutual friends or your friends about you. But yeah, this is kind of the energy I'm seeing with this Four of Cups. Now, let's see what your tarot cards are saying. And we have Queen of Pentacles. We have the Magician. Ooh, beautiful. We have Two of Pentacles. And we also have the Sun. Ooh, so many positive cards in your reading pile three so you know right off the bat with the two of pentacles i'm getting this energy of having two choices so your person is or might have to deal with two opportunities two choices so maybe sometimes this is exactly maybe the reason yeah that they are not paying attention to you or to this opportunity that's coming because they have to deal with two different people into their life they might be already in a relationship and they started having feelings for you too or they just like have two options that they keep juggling between okay see how this person is juggling between two options and you know i see that this person has two pentacles into their hand and pentacles usually represent um just safe choice um like stable love stable relationship and we also have queen of pentacles which is representing that your person is looking for a stable commitment uh, committed relationship yeah so they're really into stable relationships they want something for the long term but they don't know which option to choose, which option is the best. And they're trying to manifest an answer with a magician. This is about manifesting. This is about wishing and just um, creating something or just bringing something into the reality, something that you want, bringing it into the reality. So they want to, they really want to um, manifest an answer to their question or just clarity into their mind yeah into their decision making um so they are just busy and or trying to be busy with their own life or with the other option yeah with the other option but at the same time they're still picking through at your life at your connection at what you're doing because they have feelings for you too they're curious about you too so you know the sun also represents a very positive card it's all about just joy and happiness so this is how much joy and happiness you bring into their life they really enjoy your presence they really enjoy being around you so i told you we have here all positive cards so to answer your question yes they do like you but they might be interested in another person or they might have another option as well. You know, it could be also a situation where your person might be having to choose between, not necessarily two people. It might be between having a connection with you and a, a job opportunity, something that's just gonna bring a lot of stability into their life. They're really looking for stability. They're looking for, um, like a safe space into their life so they might have to deal with a very good opportunity to work or like you know a career opportunity that's just not going to really match with this connection it might be far away um and you, and they realize that you might not want to move there or is going to ask you too much like a too big of a 
compromise to do that and they don't want to put you in that situation because they really care about you they really like you and they don't want to um make it so hard for you so they are trying to find an answer themselves so this is a general reading it might resonate with you guys in one way or with other people in the other way but what i'm seeing is that they have to juggle between two options and at the same time they're very much interested in you and they are very curious about they want to just keep up with what you're doing they want to be involved in your life they want to you know maybe they even dream about having a stable connection with you because you bring uh, into their life so much joy and this is just overall about feeling happy feeling um energized and this is how they feel around you okay now just clarifying this reading a bit more with some oracle uh, cards by the way if you're interested in any of the decks i'm using i'm gonna link all of them down below so pal three you are the only um group that three cards from this uh deck jumped so the other ones had two because this is what normally i wanted to choose two cards but for you it was three so it might be a message in here for you okay so we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so maybe a person is thinking about getting a step back getting a break from everything and just focus on like clearing their mind like what it is actually they, that i want what's the best option what like even maybe a solution like how do i make things good like in both ways to not hurt anyone or to um like make me happy and both that person happy and you know here i see a lot of loneliness with this card with the four of cups in this particular image yeah i'm getting a lot of loneliness a lot of um just solo energy see how this person is just like surrounded by stars and the sky and they're just minding their own business so this is about that retreat they're trying to disconnect from the world to just get a better uh, understanding to get a clearer mind next we have passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so there's a lot of passion involved here into this connection this person is really into you they find you very attractive this is what this card is saying and we also have heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so your person pal three is really thinking that they might they might come to you yeah and like have a heart to heart conversation they think that it might be time after all this uh processing and after all this um just retreat yeah this after this break they might come to the realization that it's it's time to have a heart to heart conversation and really talk things through honestly discuss the feelings that they have for you and maybe both for that person or regarding that situation yeah just be honest with themselves and with everyone involved in the situation by having heart to heart conversations and let's see what we have next we have the chaser chaser in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment issue oh okay so as i said this person is really into stable committed relationships maybe they have a codependent um attachment style and they really deal with fear of abandonment so maybe this is like holding them back to even like start a connection okay and we also have engagement ring engagement partnership commitment eternity completion union so normally this card is i'm just gonna put it here so normally this card is all about proposing so what's crazy is that this person is actually considering proposing to you pal free as i said this person is no game like they want to have something stable something committed they want to have a family they want to have uh, a marriage yeah they really value committed 
partnership. I love how we even have here commitment and we had the Queen of Pentacles before. So this person is having really big thoughts. They want to propose to you, pile three. Wow. So all these positive cards. So this, this manifestation is maybe even manifesting that relationship, that marriage with you. But they feel like there's something that's still holding them back. Maybe they're into another relationship, as I said, or they're just involved with someone else. And they don't want to, um, they don't want to hurt them. They don't want to hurt their feelings. And they just realize that it's no other option than to be honest and have heart to heart conversations. So again, this person is just like, I'm getting that lonely, which is the retreat. So they might retreat even from the other person just to have a moment with themselves. Yeah. Like realize who I am, what I want and like, how can I move forward with what makes me happy? And how can I come clean and have this conversation honestly without hurting the other person's feelings too much? So this is one of the messages I'm getting from this card. But the other one, as I said, it's just like they have to be uh, involved yeah, with someone else or something different. They're just busy with that. But at the same time, they are picking through at your life. They are spying secretly. Um, or just like maybe even watching at your photos and like daydreaming about you because this is what they want. This is what makes them happy. Okay. So yeah, this is all I have for you, pal three. I really hope you enjoyed your reading and found some value in it. Please leave a comment down below if this reading resonated. Also hit like and subscribe for more readings. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.